This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 10, Reading Records, Puzzle 7. Using your records, the records parameter in your callback function is an array of objects, of course. It can be, which is what we use for our contacts app that we've been building. It can be used exactly the same as other arrays of objects you've seen before. And so this is demonstrating that you access each item in our list, in our array, with the number of its index. So this would be the sixth item in an array because arrays start at zero for their first object. And then dot title, this is dot notation. So this is getting the title from the object in the fifth uh, index of the array. Starter code is provided, which reads records from the same top movies table you saw in previous levels. Add starter code inside the callback function of read records that displays the first movie in the array. Displays record zero. So how could we do that? Well, if we take a look at this, we know the first movie in the array is going to be at index zero, right? Because arrays index indices start at zero. So if it's a list of 50, there's only 49 indices because we use zero through 49. Now, if we want the name of the movie, so we want the top movies, and then with square brackets, zero for our index, and then dot title for the property, because that would give us the name. Ah, let's give it a shot. Does it want us to, yeah, console log, I guess. So records is the name of what it returns. Oop, not I. Zero is the first movie. And then dot title should hopefully give us the title. Displays the last movie in the array. Try using, ooh, okay. So, and I could use another council log for that. I could also use slash n, but just for clarity, I'll use a council log. Okay, yeah. The last movie would be at 49, but it's saying try just doing records because it's an array dot length, which will, and remember, length is going to actually just count starting at 1, which is a problem because we only have 49 indices. Well, we have 0 to 49, so we have 50 indices, but they only go to 49. So if we get the length, we have to, and we want the last item in the array, we have to subtract 1 from the length to get that to be 49 and not 50, and then dot. Um, so for the record at the 49th location, which is the, or the 49th indice, which is the 50th record, we want the displays the, oh, they want all of the info. Okay, so that's all we need. And that would mean I don't need dot notation here. I guess they want all the info. And then display the title of the third movie in the array. Okay, so I'm just going to be lazy and do copy, enter, paste. The third movie in the array, if arrays start at zero, would be two. Because that is zero index, one index, two index. That's number three. And then let's use dot notation. Um, so we want record. We want what location at two. And then we just want the title of that record. Okay, this looks grumpy. That would make sense. Okay, run the program. So we council log the first movie, the last movie, and hopefully the third. Cool. Using arrays and then arrays of object is kind of tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. Let's keep going.